Unloading the other boat at the same time. Here's yeah, gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it to Cotley Bay. Time to find the hotel. So you got to pay a 200 baht tourist fee when you arrive before you go on to your hotel. You want me to take? You want me to carry? You want me to carry? There we go, then. hotel transfer. Here we come. Probably going to take two minutes. So here we are, this is the A Plus Hotel in Colipe. This was £229 UK pound for three nights for two rooms. And the rooms are the deluxe city view. Yeah, is that a city view? I suppose it is. Um, supermarket right down below. And we're, uh, have a look around, take you with us. So they expect you to leave your shoes downstairs. Not happening. I'll take my shoes. I'll take my shoes off. I respect that, but I'm not leaving them there. So you got the shop attached right to the hotel. Body cup. <coughs> Yeah, my little milk as well for my coffee. I've got the recipe for a sweet time. You bring half the ingredients, and I'll bring probably some of that in. Celebration, let's get started tonight. I love the taste of the season with you. I love the taste of the season with you. Savory and sweet with the bite that I need. My gingerbread joy, holiday treat. I love the I'm going to walk down towards the front. Down towards the beach, have a little look. Check the place out. Maybe find somewhere to get some laundry done. We had a load of laundry done in Atlanta, 150 baht.
days, about three nights. It's absolutely boiling hot. Mango smoothie, half the price.
It's actually nice as it's a bit of cloud because it there's a nice breeze and it's a bit cooler. They've issued a heat warning for Thailand at the moment. 35, 40 degrees. Yeah, there's loads of little fish here, isn't there? Loads of little fish, but the tide's coming back in now, so we need to get around this corner so we don't get caught. In 2017, I stayed on that little island there. That's Langkawi over there, Malaysia. Over there somewhere. And every day I used to watch the boats go past on their way to Podlipe. Everyone's coming out to play. We've not been to Sunset Beach yet. I imagine that's really busy at the moment. Like this place has got a waiting list to get in. Sunrise Beach was nice. He's loving it. So yeah, we just went to the corner bar. A little bit on the pricey side, but uh, Good atmosphere, some good tunes playing. Luke was supposed to be watching the Man United game, but he was too busy watching TikTok. I think I watched more of the Man United game than he did. He wore his shirt, look. Fuck, oh, cannabis. Strong smell of cannabis. Get stoned, just walk around, you don't need to buy it. Anyway, we're going to eat now. place was very busy earlier, wasn't it? Mm, yes. That's why we're coming here. Because they want to come at the same time. Yeah. You all right? If Johnny's watching, it'd be a very good, very good yahoo yahoo, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know if you heard that. This place is called Madame Yuhu. Oh, and the, and the, they call Saki. And the old lady sits on the door. Everyone that walks down the street says, Yuhu, Yuhu. <laughs> ten baht, ten baht. She's making me laugh. Yuhu, Yuhu, Yuhu. Ten baht, ten baht. Ten baht, ten baht, ten baht, ten baht, ten baht. Good morning. So we're just across in the restaurant opposite the hotel for our breakfast, which is included. It's a set menu, so you have to choose from one of the set menus you want. It's not a, it's not a buffet, but yeah, it's included in the price. You just start making a shake. Thank you very much. Good morning from uh, Koh Lipe. We're just heading down to 
Sunset Beach. We've not been to Sunset Beach yet. We went to Sunrise Beach yesterday. The boat come into Patia Beach. So we're gonna see what Sunset Beach is like. We may go down there tonight. I was thinking of have a day off the beer today because we've had a week on the beer. But uh, that never works, does it? See what happens, see if I can do a day off the beer. Another cloudy day but it's nice and hot, it's 10.45 in the morning and it's 29 Celsius already. But sat here there's a lovely breeze coming in. The tide's right in at the moment, I imagine when the tide goes out this is a nice little spot. The beach goes all the way around there past the long tail boats. Anyway I just bought a nice vest. And it's like football shirt material, so it's nice. And it was a uh, 180 baht, which is about, I don't know, three pound? Mm -hmm. 180 baht, two, three, three pound? Yeah. About three pound in English money. Happy days. This is a nice little spot down the end here to have a, a swim and a sunbathe. No leaves in the water either. I might have to pay up, relocate down here so I can get in the water and have a swim. Nice and clear. Look at this.
Very good, very nice. Be a bit more careful when I've got those shoes on. I nearly just fell down there. Climbing up onto this lovely little spot here. So yeah, what do I think of Colipe so far? This is only the second beach we've been to. We went to um, Sunrise Beach yesterday afternoon. This one's Sunset Beach. So I imagine it'll be a bit busier tonight when the sun sets. Tide's starting to go out a bit now. The sun's breaking through, nice and warm. There's a nice beach over there. I don't know if you can see it. Where the white sand comes out into the water. That's North Point. Felipe, we're going to go and have a look at that tomorrow morning. We're going to spend a few hours here. And then we're going to go round to Sunrise Beach where we was yesterday. Luke didn't come around there because he wasn't feeling too well when he got here yesterday. He's got a bit of a cold, so he's a bit congested, headache. Not nice to have a cold in this hot weather. But we gave him some nice strong tablets yesterday and he had a couple of hours sleep, so at least the headache's gone. Give him some more later. There they are, chilled out over there. Cameras pick it up because of the sun. We're gonna we're gonna take the boat taxi round to Sunrise Beach we was at yesterday. It's basically a long tail boat. It's gonna be 100 baht per person. Lovely driver we was talking to earlier. Sunset Beach, Sunrise Beach, he's taking us to Pattaya Beach. So that's all gonna have to walk around there anyway. He's gonna get a mango shake on the way. Oh well, certainly not quieter on this beach than it was yesterday. So as all the ferries are in now. Sun's out, beautiful. Up the walking street, get a mango shake, then to Sunrise Beach.
catch her up, she's gone. These white sandy beaches are absolutely stunning. Reminds me of Barakai. So I think this is the white umbrellas we saw from the when we sat on the rock over there earlier on. Right, we're on a mission. We're gonna walk out to that. The uh, sandbank over there. Well, oh, the tide's out. Let's go. So many fish. Beautiful. Wish I had the snorkeling fast. There we are. On another beach in the middle of the channel. Happy days. Beach away from the beach. Luke's over there somewhere. I can see the wife sat on the beach. It looks like it goes around there, look, as well, you see it? Or is that where the boat's just gone? <laughs> the main attraction of Kotlipe is the sandbank in the sea. But the beautiful crystal clear waters and lots of fish. Now I've got to get back again. Comfortable there, Luke, are you? bit mental trying to get across there. Suicide junction, I call that. Mick and know what I'm on about from Gambia. They just go everywhere. Yeah. 
Good morning everyone. This is our last full day here in Kotlipe. Just come for a walk along Patia Beach. We're going to spend today on Patia Beach. We're on uh, the other beach you saw yesterday in the morning, in the afternoon on Sunrise Beach and Sunset Beach. So yeah, Patia Beach is the side that all the boats come in on. When you come in on the speed boats, so they come in down the other end of the beach. So I'm just having a little walk around the beach, checking out some of the resorts for maybe if we come back. We did originally have a resort called Zed Touch Resort booked up, but it looks nice, but the reviews were really bad on it, saying it was outdated rooms and very bad water pressure and all that. So that's why we canceled that one and booked the one we're in. The one we're in is really nice. It's on Walking Street. It's a lovely room, good aircon. Good shower, nice and clean, nice and cheap. So yeah, we're quite happy with that one. We're only here for three days. Anyway, let's take you for a walk along this little beach. down on Patia Beach watching the sunset although we're not going to get the full sunset because the, the hill's in the way but uh, I'm surprised how far this tide goes out how's your beer mate? what's your beer? yeah cheers cheers very Luke, good Luke is here he's there <laughs> <laughs> he's smoking a fag I'm here for dinner tonight because there's such an array, nice selection of barbecue stuff out the front. But the place is packed. They've even got an overflow car park over there. Look. We've taken the last table on this bit. Just waiting to take our order now because it's so busy. Might have to wait a while. Let's see how it goes. It's called um, the Pyre. Good morning, this is our last morning here in Phuket. We are taking the speedboat behind you there to Phuket via Koh Lanta. The cost of this was 2,450 baht per person. Our next stop then is Phuket. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you've joined us this far, please click the subscribe and the notification button. Thank you very much. Goodbye.